Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm so excited for this video today. It's been booked in for around six weeks now, I think it is, which is literally crazy. But I'm actually off to get my running gait tested today. I'm training this morning. I've got upper body, a little bit fatigued, but getting the whole shebang the whole what I'm doing, how to run. And it's more so for me as well. Obviously with an injury, so like a hip injury, which actually, touch wood, has been really quite great recently. I don't wanna drink for it. But I need to know how to run efficiently for 100K. You know, I, it's gonna hurt. I did, I did 36K, my longest run. I just wanted to throw this clip in because basically I'm trying to explain to you here, but I don't know why the sound didn't work, but I was eating waffles on my run because I'm trying to practice running with food. Twenty two K in to I don't know how long run. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I feel really good. Really relaxed. Heart rate set. One four two. Chilling. Thirty four K in. So I've just gone past my longest run to date, which is ideal. My legs are getting so heavy. Like, <laughs> I keep telling myself, of course your legs are gonna hurt. Of course they are. It's all right, don't worry. But realistically, I'm like, oh my fucking God. On Sunday, and it started to hurt at like 32K, which you know, it's, you, you, you're hitting some miles there. But I'm so excited. I also just wanted to show you this. So I showed you in last week's video, and there was literally so many questions about it. So I thought I'd wrap it up in this video as well. So you guys know that I've been wearing a whoop. This is this, I should look how busy my wrist is. It's this little fancy strap here. Now with Whoop, I'm gonna put it on the screen for you again. If we go to my strain, so your strain is basically how hard you've worked. And on that specific day, so on the Sunday, my strain was 19.7 and the top of the chart, we're, we're literally, you can see on the screen, we're, we're nearly at the top of the chart, which is insane. And then if we go to my recovery the day after, it was 25%. This has been so helpful for me because you know I'm doing a lot of volume. I'm doing a lot of running and I'm doing so 50 to 65 K weeks at the moment with my five weight sessions Hashtag hybrid, but it's so good for me to actually be able to see my recovery so I knew that I wasn't recovered on the Monday and I did a super light session. I was supposed to maybe do like a 5k or something, but I actually just left it and I probably wouldn't have left it if it wasn't for this. So for me, that's pretty damn incredible that I have the ability to look at that. I'm just having a little scroll through now. My recovery is currently on 95%. So we've gone full swing. I'm back fully recovered. Got my upper body workout today. I'll leave a link below if you want to shop Whoop or more information about Whoop as well. So I'll leave that in the description for you. They're super incredible. I've really, really enjoyed using the band and I will continue to do so. But I'm gonna go and train upper body. <sighs> Should we do a little physique update actually? I can maybe, there's a little physique update because we haven't done something like this. Can you even see me? I don't know. Basically, we did a podcast last week as well about cardio killing gains and just running kill your gains and things like that. I feel I'm at my strongest, fittest self. Okay, so, <sighs> feeling, just feeling, feeling good. My quads. I think that's obviously to do with the running. Glutes, hammies, actually quite sore. So the one place that's getting a bit more sore for me now is the hamstring and glutes and my calf because I'm trying to change my running technique because I kind of hit with a heel strike which is kind of affecting my whole lower body pain situation. But we're obviously assessing that today. But yeah, feeling good. So I will see you at the running gate special. Spot now. So if you lay yourself down on your back. Cat had mentioned as well. I've got one leg's longer than the other. That's what we're going to check. I mean, <laughs> I don't necessarily, because we're saying about the impact you're getting here, mm. do you know what I mean? That will give the appreciation of the impact. There is compression here. It shows that there may be a slight lay low, but it's not. It's just okay. how much tension there is. Okay. Okay, so now if you raise this leg up. Very good. Now, if you pull your foot across that way for me, so stop me pulling it this way, so pull, very good. Push your foot out towards me. Yeah, that's good. Pull your knee towards your chest, so push up, push up, push up, push up. Yeah, very good. Okay, good. Now, in that position, if you can push your foot to the ceiling, so just if you're trying to straighten the leg, have the legs, and then pull your heel down to the floor. So pull, 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 yeah, very really good. Some strength there, that's really impressive. Okay. So can you, is that tight as you're doing? Can you yeah. feel anything there? Okay. Okay, so now, can you do the same? Can you pull your foot across that way for me? 
So can you feel you just don't have yeah, that I same Yeah, I can feel it. That's where the pain goes as well. Yeah, but that again is what we kind of expected with what's going on here. So that's, that's fine. There's ways yeah. of work where we're training that. So if you now push, push your foot out towards me, so as if it's this way. So push, push, push. Yeah, very good. And now if you push your foot to the ceiling, so if you straighten it straight, that's it. Good. And now if you pull your heel down to the floor, so pull down, pull down. Okay, good. That's it. So can you feel on this side, if I basically just pull here, you feel how you elongate on that right side, everything kind of lengthens, yeah? Yeah. And then we do the same on this side, can you feel that it just isn't? Yeah. Can you feel that that's the case? Yeah. So that's what we're saying about this compression that's here. So now, if you hold this leg up, hold it there and stop me pushing down, so push up, push up, push up. Yeah, you really don't like that very much, feel. Okay, and then if you push this one up, so can you feel that one? Obviously it's more comfortable to do. Yeah. Can you feel it's easier? Yeah, possibly. <clears throat> and now in that position, if you raise your hips up off the bench, so raise up, raise up. Happy day, that's really good. And back down, bend your knees, and then raise up again. Yeah, happy day, it's good. And back down. If you keep that leg there, and then just do the same again, so raise your hips up. Yeah, good, and back down. And then if you swap over and do the same on this side. Yeah, so you're gonna feel the difficulty on there. Okay, but that's fine, that's fine. All right, perfect. So what we're saying is there is definitely there's obviously something going on with this hip that we need to kind of work towards, okay? If you now hold your foot in there, hold it there, and then stop me pushing. So push, 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 push. Yeah, okay, good, good. So you feel that's really strong, yeah? Yeah. If you now do the same on this side, hold this foot in, and then stop me pushing. So put it there. So can you feel? Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. So do you remember we were saying there's something going on with the foot as well? Yeah. That is basically have a knock-on effect to how you stabilize through this whole kinetic chain on this left side. Yeah. So now, if you drive your big toe through me, so push, push, yeah, very good. You feel that's solid, that's really good, yeah. okay? And if you do the same on this right, on this left side, so now push, but yeah, can you feel? Oh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah. We know that ideally around 80% of your force should go through your big toe when you're running. Yeah. And at the moment it's not, so it's all going elsewhere, and that's what I think you're compensating for. Does that yeah. kind of make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold this leg up. And then stop me pushing down. So push, push, push. Yeah, yeah so strength. Good. All right. Bend your knees. And then do the same on this side. So again, if you push up, push up, push up, push up. Yeah, really good. When you swap sides, you'll notice that with everything you do training-wise. Yeah. You'll basically try and almost open up that hip. So you can use yeah. the hip flexor, which is why you're saying you've always got such tight hip tight flexors. Because they're being used for everything. Yeah. So when we're looking at things like we're just working on here, so your ability to be able to kind of raise up, You've got something called reciprocal inhibition. So if there's tension, so for me to bend my elbow, the body is, the brain is sending a signal to the muscle here to say bend or to contract, but at the same time it sends a signal to this muscle to say relax. Yeah. So if you've constantly got this saying tension, 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 this is constantly saying relax, relax, yeah. you're going to fight yourself. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So what we're going to do now is combining as many things as we can into as few exercises so that we don't overload you. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Hello everybody. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm just on my way home from Cairo, physio, whatever you wish to call it. And my mind is blown. Obviously, it, it, it wasn't that easy to film. And what I thought I was getting my running gait tested, I'm not even there yet. There's something so internal going on with my hip that it needs massive assessment before we even look at my running technique, which to me is just, I, I've all, I know, I, I know there's something wrong with my hip, which is probably what the title of this video is gonna end up being, like more so dealing with an injury and, and rehab and learning to deal with it, I guess. But for me, it's so interesting. So all the things we were talking about, how my bladder and womb internal everything is related to hip issues and i've always said to ben why do we go to the toilet so much like why do i always need what's that noise why do i always need the toilet like every time i go on a run i'll go to the toilet and I'll instantly need it again as soon as i start every step i'm taking there's a ligament that's like pulling on my bladder which is affecting my hip and you just i've got one leg longer than the other which is the left leg I had knee surgery back when I was 18, so we're pushing on six years ago now. Seven years ago. Yeah, seven years ago. Which basically we think made me not want to use my left leg at all. And now, six, seven, eight years on, all my weight is going onto my right leg. So every time I run, my left leg isn't is not being used. It's just not like so. If you go back to the video, actually, I'll slip it in here. Listen to my left foot hitting the floor. You can hear my left foot. Like, <laughs> I keep telling myself, of course your legs are gonna hurt. Of course they are. 
it's all right, don't worry. Now, I would say I'm a pretty good runner. I'm all right, along with my strength training, everything that I'm doing. But it's amazing and it's exciting for me that there's literally, there's so much to learn. There's so much room for improvement. And that makes me excited as for Project Ultra and to what I can achieve and everything like that. Obviously, it was quite a lot to take on board as well in terms of the exercises, which in terms of how much rehab I'm actually going to have to be doing, which is pretty insane. However, here we are and she's ready. She's excited and she's ready. Just got home and I was just thinking about it the whole way back. Do you know what's also crazy with what Lee was saying to me? Is that the pain that I'm having could be caused by anxiety as well to some extent, like a trigger. And that's because you have different parts of your body where you store stress. And when you're more stressed or more anxious, probably in my case, it it doesn't help the pain. Sorry, I'm just having all these brain waves and it's crazy. Hi everybody, so it's sometimes later at sometimes later. I have had a ham and cheese sandwich and I'm just editing the video and it's actually for me because I hadn't had chance to watch the footage. Going back on it is so crazy. I can't get comfy. It's so crazy because you can see such difference. Well, I can see a difference. Maybe it's more so because I can feel the difference. And this video was obviously well different than what I had planned because I thought I was going to have my running technique assessed, but I'm not even there. Assessed, I can't, I can't get my words out. Assessed, but I'm not even there. I'm not even at that stage yet, which is fine. I think this video is really good as well, to be fair, because I'm just being transparent with you. I said that from the start of Project Ultra, I take you on the journey, the good, the bad, the good shit, the bad shit, and here we are. This is more, I, I think this is more so a positive as well, because I'm being really proactive with with what I'm with what I'm doing and hopefully you found it helpful you found it insightful obviously having an expert is exactly what I want to do in this channel and get people on who know exactly what they're talking about obviously there were certain things that I couldn't show you that was too personal my consultation was an hour and you obviously only saw the smallest smallest snippets but yeah obviously I'm gonna let you hurt no oh uh, 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 uh. gonna let you know how I'm getting on give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one